Nikki's back, 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 back again, again, again. Nikki's back, back, back. Tell your friends, friends, friends. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. You better have been telling your friends, okay? You see my name? Shout me out, little bitch. Comment, like, subscribe, all that. Okay, but anyways, we're gonna see what's tea, what's poppin'. So, let's see, y'all. I've been busy with personal readings, plus, I feel like I'm needed when I'm supposed to be needed, okay? So, unlike some people, I don't know, I just, I feel like I'm supposed to give the messages when I'm supposed to give them out. And right now, I feel like I'm busy with personal readings for a reason, okay? Because some of y'all been going through some shit, but I got you, okay? So, book a personal reading if you would like one, okay? I'm booked and busy right now, but hey, I feel like that's what I'm supposed to be doing. So, let's just get a little collective message spirit for my secrets release. Let all the secrets come out. Come on, come on, come on. I need them. Yep. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> let's see. What's tea? What's popping for my collective? What's been going on? So, y'all, I feel like I'm about to be looking good. 111. Because I feel like it's about to be New Year's. Yes. And New Year's Day. So, I feel like maybe some of you guys are going to be going out. Okay. Like, I don't know. Maybe you're doing like a self care day. All that. So, let's see. Let's see. This feels like some good energy. Some of y'all going to be on the dance floor. I don't know. Some of y'all really going to be out here looking good. Because some of y'all about to be going out to the club. All that. You're, you're telling your person, like, I feel like some of you guys, or if you are in a relationship, you're telling your person, hey, I need some pictures. Come on, get this angle over here, over there. I don't know. I just feel like some of y'all are really wanting to be seen, or maybe you're about to be seen. Some of y'all been in the house too long. Virgo energy, get up, get out. Like, Spirit is saying, have fun a little bit. So maybe some of you guys are going to go out. You're like, you know what? I'm going to pop out. Let me pop out. Because I feel like if you pop out, everybody going to see you. Okay, you're hardly seen, always noticed. That's what I'm getting. Mmm, fancy. That's what I'm hearing. Bro, this energy is fabulous. <laughs> I don't know who, who you guys are. Y'all could be a Virgo. Okay, let's see. What are some messages? I can't stop smiling. It feels good to give you guys a message. It feels really good. Okay, Spirit, what's tea? What's popping? Let's get some messages. Two of Cups. Okay, some of y'all, this could be a same sex. You look good and your person look good. And I feel like y'all look good together. And I'm talking about two feminines, okay? Both y'all fine as hell. Some of y'all, y'all lucky I ain't gay. <laughs> Thank you, God, okay? Like, y'all are so lucky. Because some of y'all be flirting with me in the, in the comments. And y'all know I love beautiful women, okay? So, yeah. the same sex connection that you're in like i said some of you guys are already in a relationship maybe this is with a water sign and a leo okay cancer could be significant maybe it's a cancer and a leo y'all go together okay so what else what's going on nine of wands somebody's scared that you're gonna get in a relationship it already happened this is what i'm hearing yeah period yeah you could be a leo six of wands so i feel like somebody's biggest fear came true that's what i'm hearing okay maybe some i don't know this could be like a fire sign they're watching you they're watching you be in a relationship i don't know like somebody is not liking what they're seeing because i feel like this is you right now you popping and i feel like you're shining that's why i said like all eyes on you okay i feel like some some of y'all like to be in the house so when you pop out you pop out everybody sees you that's what i'm seeing Literally everyone, okay? So that could definitely be significant. What else? What else is going on? What else is going on? What else is going on? King of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be dating a Taurus, okay? Clarify the King of Pentacles. Some of you guys, this person actually wants to get in a relationship with you, but you don't seem available but you know what i'm getting i feel like spirit is going to have like some sort of faded event that's why i feel like some of y'all are getting cute or fine okay with your clone all that because i feel like you're going to be meeting somebody significant you could have been waiting a long time some of y'all could be a virgo or is this a virgo virgo is heavy okay and then again sagittarius is here with the temperance card this person is low-key like an earth angel but this is giving me a masculine so what about this person 
What about this person? It's almost like they are sent from heaven. That's what I'm hearing. Keisha Cole, that song, Sit From Heaven, is significant. I'll put it right in the description box. Do you hear me? Ace of Cups, this is 100% new love. Are you kidding me? So I feel like some of y'all are about to be starting the new year, right? Okay. I don't know. A water sign could be significant. Water, um, cancer is significant. Um, Leo and Sagittarius. And then I said Virgo is heavy. So that could be significant. I don't know. But what about this person? Someone just said it's time. It's time for you to get in a relationship. That's what I'm hearing. It's time. Uh, some of y'all been single. Okay. And you're like, yeah. And I'm ready to mingle. What's up? Like, I feel like you've just been waiting. And it's finally here. Okay. That's what I'm hearing too. So what else? What else? What else is going on? Yes. Ten of Cups is here. Oh my God. This could be somebody where you're supposed to like even have a family with. That's what I'm getting. Or this person is uh, very hardworking. Okay, I'm getting that as well. Also, this is like a family man. I don't know. They provide, they protect, all that. Okay, this is somebody who like low-key wants to like, someone just said I will. They low-key want to like pay all the bills. And you just live in lavishly. That's what I'm hearing. Because you're like, and I'm that bitch. Because I can. Like, that's the energy I'm getting. So it's almost like this person wants to spoil you. Whoever this king of pentacles and I feel like they got the funds to do it. And this person's like, anything for my queen. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm telling you, this person got some money. Honey. Listen, Linda, okay, this is what I'm hearing. I cannot make this shit up. What's going on? Like, I don't know who this person is, but do you peep? Do you peep? Ace of Pentacles? This person, they they well off, okay? That's what I'm saying. And this person is saying, like, it's nothing. It's nothing to get, get you what you want. I don't know. Somebody wants to see you smile. Somebody wants to see you happy. I don't know. I just feel like this person just wants to make sure you're good. Okay. So I'm getting that as well. What else? Just throw it in the bag. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Is that fabulous? I think it is. I'll put it out in the description too or the comments because that song is significant. But this person really, this person is really like just throw it in the bag. Whatever you want, I got it. I got you. Literally, bro. Like, this is somebody who will literally go to war for you. That's what I'm hearing. Someone just said, I will. Like, somebody will back your ass up. Like, it's almost like you have your own personal, like, spiritual bodyguard. Like, for real. Like, what? That's so lit. Like, that's what I'm getting. Like, this is your own spiritual bodyguard. So, it's like, if somebody got a problem with you, they got a problem with this person. And again, angels, real angels, um, they're kind of scary. And they're tall as hell you know somebody could be very tall or i don't know i just feel like they could even be ranked high in the spirit realm whoever this person is don't play with them don't play with it don't, don't, don't wait what is it don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it okay don't play with this person please but i'm trying to like warn everybody else like don't play with this person because they will fuck you up real quick whoever the sagittarius is i don't know this could even be somebody on the spirit realm in the spirit realm protecting you because right now, again, you are, some of y'all are alone. So somebody got to protect you. And I feel like whoever this Sagittarius is, okay, they got you 100%. That's what I'm hearing. This person is like, uh, it's nothing. It's nothing. What's up? Ace of, uh, Ace of Swords, okay? I don't know. What else? <laughs> this could even be the same person that's like um, wanting to be in a connection with you. What else? What else? What else, spirit? Let me shuffle up real quick. Somebody's favorite color could be green. We have the Knight of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Cups. And the seven of swords and the nine of pentacles in the full card hmm let's look at this right here oh i didn't even see the death card so there could be another person this person is a little immature okay nine of cups energy could even be younger but this is somebody who possibly already had like a 
I was about to say a merry-go-round with you. So this is somebody who possibly put you round and around and around in cycles type shit. And I feel like you got yourself out of that situation. And now this person's still stuck on you. So somebody from the past could possibly be a water sign. They're still stuck on you. Again, they're almost saying like you were one in a million. Why did I lose that? How did I lose that? Why did I do this to them? Why did I cheat on them? Just why, why, why? And I feel like you're like boy by ace of swords i mean uh queen of swords with the full card you're not even looking at this person not even in this person's direction do you hear me like i just feel like somebody is still trying to in a way work like put themselves in your energy okay that's what i'm hearing or maybe it's almost like you're watching a reading and it's like saying some shit about somebody else you know somebody from your past you're like bro not again like what's going on i don't know i just feel like this is somebody who doesn't want you to end it because after 2023 is over with um it's a whole new cycle that we're about to go in so it's almost like somebody wants you to take them along okay in the next cycle but i feel like you're not no you're you're stopping this person dead in their tracks you're like you're not going with me sorry buddy you're getting left okay so somebody is afraid that they're getting left again their biggest fear was you getting in a relationship sorry it already came true for some of y'all because i feel like some of y'all already in a relationship and you good okay that's what i'm hearing too <laughs> so i just said it's fuck <laughs> you good as fuck my hand is itching oh my god what else y'all funny as hell i don't know i just feel like it's almost like you popping off at this person because i feel like you have an attitude you're like okay like i don't know like i just me personally when you could tell that I'm mad because I make certain faces. Like, my facial expression just says it. Like, you know, so that could be you as well. But let's get some uh, messages from the Hidden Truth. What else? What else, Spirit? What else is going on? Because this person... It's two energies in here, y'all. It's crazy, too, because I feel like this new person, they're so confident and so chill and so laid back that they're not letting this old person, like get them in their feelings they're like they know who they are whoever this new person is they know who they are okay like it's almost like this person is like standing uh tall and strong like i don't know i just feel like this person is not intimidated especially not one of your exes that's what they're saying okay so yeah it's almost like this person doesn't fear nobody possibly but god i don't know that's just what i'm getting from the new person so that could be significant what else that's why I said it's like they'll go to war for you because it's like this person ain't scared. They not. <laughs> okay, so what else? I just want to tell you how I feel up too late. Okay, because again, it's giving me the person from the past. You gave this person a chance. It's like no means no. We're done. So just move on. You don't even have to hate anybody. It's like, bro, just move on with your life. They didn't get to come with you for a reason. Okay, that got they got to stay where they're at until they're ready. But you don't got time to be sitting there. You're on to bigger and better things. So I feel like you got to step in. Okay? So keep moving, y'all. Like, don't even let this person even get in your energy no more. Try to block them out. Again, it's very hard, too, when somebody, like, pulls on your energy. Because it's almost like they're draining you, you know, energetically. So that could be frustrating as well. So what else? I want you came out. I feel like it's that like King of Pentacles is saying that, okay? Some of y'all could be looking really good. Someone just said it is. So it is this King of Pentacles that's possibly eyeing you. Somebody got their eyes on you, okay? They do. And then we have, we will be together again, but it was in the reverse. And I feel like it's somebody from the past. You're not. You're going to be with somebody new. That's the thing that they have to swallow. They don't get to be with you. They have to watch you be with somebody else. Literally. This person is going to do everything that they can to try to come back. But it's almost like they're always going to hit a roadblock. Because, again, whoever this spirit guide is or even your new person, they're not playing. They're not. They're going to block this person out no matter what. That's why I said you're not going to have to handle it. Because somebody's already handling it for you, you know. That's what I'm getting. So this person is never going to be able to come back to you. Okay. And I feel like you need, like, I feel like you're okay with that, but they need to be okay with that. And they're not. They're in their little feelings. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Which is understandable, but it's just like, bro. 
see you in the next lifetime. Like, what are we supposed to do? Like, okay, what do, what do people want us to do? Like, when we get out of these karmic relationships, do y'all, like, do, do these exes think that we're just gonna go back after they did us wrong? No. Why would we do that that's literally dumb as hell, okay? Like, that's what I'm getting. So it's almost like something is not mentally right with them. They're not on your vibration. They're not on your wavelength because what? It's almost like somebody expects you to, like, basically go back and deal with their shit, deal with the same shit. And you're not supposed to be mad. You're not supposed to be upset. You're supposed to just take it. No. Okay? You're not doing that. You're like, bro, what? You crazy as hell. <laughs> like, that's what I'm hearing. This person is crazy as hell. And they're arguing with me because I just heard them say, no, I'm not. Like, this person is low-key. I ain't even gonna say it. But I'm giving you that look like, okay, yeah, for real. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Who's in? is this because like what do y'all act like this i don't know what else some of you are probably like no we don't sorry y'all everybody's not gonna be for me because my personality could be a lot sometimes and some of y'all probably think it's probably annoying and i don't give a fuck i'm aquarius i don't care okay so what else <laughs> what else oh my god this candle smells so good i freaking love it I know that I crossed the line with you. I don't want to pull from this deck no more because, again, I feel like it's somebody from the past. We don't care. Okay, so let's go on with the Angels deck. Let's go on with the Angels deck. What else is going on? For my collective, let's see. What else? What else? Somebody's going to be very healing to your soul. And I feel like that's what you've been waiting on. Because everybody that you usually deal with, they always, like, hurt you. And then you have, like, some sort of pain you always got to carry and shit. You know, that's possibly why you have an attitude, you know? It's almost like that energy is still latched on to you. But I feel like with this new person coming in, they're going to make you so soft. So some of y'all could low-key be in your masculine energy. And maybe this person's going to um, help you get into your feminine energy. That's what I'm hearing, okay? So what else? Hmm. I feel like you need it, though. Like, this person gonna calm you down. We have codependency. See, it was this person from the past. I feel like that's why you had to entertain or actually be with those past people. Because you could have been codependent, okay? And that was a lesson that you had to learn. And I feel like you're not codependent anymore. If anything, you're good. Some of y'all don't even care that you're in a relationship or somebody new is coming in. You're like, bro, I don't care. I've been in solitude for how long? I'm cool. Because, again, I kept getting that Virgo card, um, the Hermit. So, I feel like some of you guys have been in Hermit mode or possibly just isolation. Really just self-healing. Again, healing from all this toxicity that you went through. And it could have took some years for some of y'all. And some of y'all are, like, cool with it. Because I know before I got in a relationship, bro, I was so cool with being by myself. Do you hear me? Like, for real. Like, I was like, it was so healing. I don't know. I did not give a fuck at all. <laughs> okay? So, that could have been y'all. So, what else? What else? What else is going on? We have religious factors. That's possibly why this other person and you didn't work out. This person was too... It's almost like if you were different, let's just say they were religious and you were spiritual, they want to talk about you and shit. You know? Like this person didn't even want to acknowledge anything different. It's almost like what they said goes. You know? And I feel like it could have been something with religious or just something different about your guys' connection that this person always had a comment about. And it, it's almost like you always felt like this person was coming for you, you know? Like, I don't know. I feel like you always had to be in, like, warrior warrior, or, like, defensive mode, you know? Like, I feel like you always had to have your guard up. Because this person was low-key always trying to, like, come for you and shit. And it's almost like, I feel like you knew, like, is this person trying to, like, talk about me? And this could have been somebody that you were in a relationship with. That's why you're like, bro, what? Okay, I don't know. That could be significant as well. What else? Like, somebody would try to, like, make fun of, like, you or your religion and shit, okay? And you're like, I feel like you would just possibly, <laughs> the way I just looked up and down, you're probably looking up, you was probably looking up and down this person, like, ah, no, you ain't talking, okay? But you could have said that in your mind, because it's almost like, is this person really saying this, or am I tripping? Because I know that happened to me before, okay? So, what else? What else?
I think somebody didn't know that you were going to find yourself. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting that. It's almost like somebody thought that you weren't going to find, you weren't gonna know your worth. I don't know why they thought that. Like, it's almost like somebody thought they had you wrapped around their finger, but you had them wrapped around yours. Okay, don't get it twisted. That's what you're saying. I feel it, I feel it. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know. you like, nope, not when I'm alive. I don't know, I just feel like y'all don't let people play with you. And it's funny, cause I feel like some people think that they really getting over on you and they're not. That's why you be looking at them confused, like, what do you mean? Like, never did you cross me. <laughs> like, you know, like, I don't know, what else? Bro, people just shouldn't mess with you. Cause I feel like the way you're acting right now is almost like, Bro, do people not know who's like standing behind you? Yes, some of y'all could even be like solo dolo, but they don't know who's protecting you in the spirit realm. Don't get it twisted. That's what I'm hearing. So I feel like that's possibly why I feel like you feel very confident. You feel brave because again, not only that, whoever this is, again, they are like 10 steps behind you. Somebody is like towering over you, protecting you. Okay, like for real, that's what I'm hearing. That's possibly why you feel comfort. You're like, I don't know, that's what I'm hearing too. What else? What else? Give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Again, some of y'all could possibly be scared of this new love. Cause again, the way you're looking at this two of cups, you're like, uh, I don't really know if I wanna go by this. I don't really know if I'm, I don't know if I'm ready yet. Some of y'all, not gonna lie, this could be your first time like switching it up as in like maybe you used to date guys and now you're dating women. That could be significant, okay? So maybe you're scared because it's like it's new to you, you know? I don't know, that could be significant. Some of y'all could be bisexual, okay? But yeah, I don't know. Spirit is saying like don't be scared of this new relationship. I know you've been through the mud and shit, okay? But I feel like again just allow this to come to you okay don't be scared of it because then it's almost like it's almost like you're gonna push it away you're gonna self-sabotage okay so don't do that that's what i'm hearing so what else let's get some final messages let's get some final messages worth waiting for yeah this is possibly why you were in solitude or isolation for a very long time i know for me personally it was like three years three and a half years yeah, so some of y'all, this could have been years that you actually like actually been in solitude, okay? Just healing, focusing on you, possibly even like in uh, doing self-care. That could have been significant, but I feel like spirit, they waited, okay? Perfect timing for somebody new to come into your life because they want you to be healed and ready. They don't want you to be scared. They don't want you to feel fear. They don't want you to repeat, you know, old toxic behaviors. They want you to be different. They want you to be in new energy. Because when you're in new energy, you attract new things, okay? And some of y'all, y'all been doing a lot of healing because this just ain't no regular smeggler, okay? That's what I'm hearing. This is somebody really big. That's what I'm hearing too. Someone just said it is. King of Pentacles, like, where you see a King of Pentacles? Just anywhere. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like this person was like handpicked for you, okay? Or you can switch it, the Queen of Pentacles as well, okay? So that's what I'm getting too. What else, Spirit? What else? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna end off with the island time. But yeah, let's see what else. Let's get some final messages, Spirit. Let's close out this reading for my collective. Let's close out this reading for my collective. What are some final messages? Whoa. No. We have the snake. So some of y'all, this person could have been like, I was about to say the snake. I was about to say a Scorpio. That could be significant. But we have competition, enemy, clever. So the water sign could have been the enemy. That's why I feel like it's almost like you were, you know how, cause this happened to me before. It's almost like you're in a relationship with somebody who low key is jealous of you. That's the weird part. So some of y'all could have like dealt with that. There could have been a man or a woman jealous of you, bro. Like on some weird shit, you know? And it's almost like, 
Like, we're supposed to be in a relationship, but you over here trying to bully me and shit. I don't know. Somebody was just not good for you. But again, I feel like it was a lesson that you had to go through. I'm sorry. You had to. And I feel like you got through it. Yes, it was not easy. But again, now you see what your reward is for getting through it. And I feel like this person is like 100% different. It's almost like they're the total opposite of what you dealt with. Okay. Let's get some final messages. Final messages. Okay. Like somebody's more laid back and chill. This other person that you were possibly dealing with in the past, they could have been very extroverted, wanted to be seen. Like, I don't know. Somebody wanted, I was about to say clout or just to be seen by a lot of people. Like somebody's ego was like fed by that. So like somebody could even have like a lot of friends because it's like they need validation from this person, that person, that person. Like, I don't know. But I feel like it could have been the person from the past. Okay. So what else? Let's get some final messages. Let's get some final messages. What else? We have twin flames. So some of y'all, I don't know. This is your twin flame sending you some kisses. Maybe this is the one that someone just said yelp. Someone just said yelp. So this is your twin flame possibly that you're waiting on. Some of y'all. Okay, I send you kisses, loves, hearts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what I'm hearing. Like all that. Okay, this person. <laughs> funny that's what i'm getting so you're gonna be meeting somebody like you again it's like the mirror yin and yang so some of y'all that's what you're gonna be dealing with a twin flame slash soulmate so it's gonna be like a higher level commitment okay a higher level um contract that's what i'm hearing so this is not again it's gonna be something challenging though know? twin flames this is gonna be something challenging but they are saying it's gonna be worth it so I don't know who needs to hear that. It's going to be worth it, bro. So again, with the twin flames, you got to go through the separation phase. You got to go through all these phases. But spirit is saying it's worth it. Okay, so may the strongest person win or survive. That's what I'm hearing. Because again, now everybody can go through this. I know I dropped my twin flame off. You not coming with me. I'm sorry. My twin flame was not no. He was an evil twin. I feel like he was the evil twin. I was a good one. Okay, never again. So I don't know. Some of y'all are lucky if you get this. Twin flames, you lucky. But others of y'all, y'all said, bye, I don't care. I'm with the soulmate. I don't know. That could be significant. Okay, so that's what I'm getting for y'all reading. I hope the messages did resonate. Please let me know if it did in the comments down below. Like the video if it was accurate. Again, you guys, if y'all want a personal reading, check out the description box for my link. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.